In this video today, I wanted to talk about voting with your wallet and why that's so important now than ever. Once you come to realize you actually fund and pay for everything in your life to be the way it is. The minute you figure this out, the minute you can start to take control over what happens in the world. Everyone thinks the world's too big and you can never make an impact on it. Simply not true. As a collective, everyone can make an impact. And this is why it's important to work with your wallet because you can fund the future to make it what you want it to be. For instance, physical media is dying out. DVDs, Blu-rays, CDs, they're all dying out and are going away. Same with VHS and cassette tapes, except they're not for some cases. Vinyl, it's an old technology and it died. It went away, no one bought them. But then eventually as a collector, people said, hey, wait, we want vinyls back. And all of a sudden, all these stores started to put vinyls back on shelves, started to print new vinyls, and now you can have where you can order a custom vinyl of anything you want it to be. So vinyls are still around and they're gonna keep being around. Artists love vinyls and customers love to listen to vinyls. Audiophiles, they love vinyls. It offers one of the purest ways to listen to the sound of music and the most unique way with little crackles and things on the vinyls. People like vinyls and they're gonna continue to be a thing and be around as time continues because people like vinyls. If, if vinyls came back and no one bought them, they would be dead. And I don't think they would ever come back, but it was because people bought them, they started coming back. And this is going to continue to happen. So if you want vinyls to stay around, you have to buy vinyls. If you want DVDs to stay around, you have to have DVDs or Blu-rays. If you want a physical media after 4K Blu-ray, you need to buy a 4K Blu-ray. That is the only way you will ever get another physical media after 4K Blu-ray. If everyone canceled a subscription to Spotify, to Apple Music, to YouTube Music, to all the streaming sites for music, and just bought CDs, companies would have to force themselves to quit streaming services. Streaming services only exist for the fact that people are willing to pay to access that service. If you hate streaming services and you don't want them to be the future, then quit supporting it, quit paying for it, and more importantly, quit watching it, even sites like Tubi and Pluto. If you want those to go away, like streaming services in general, then you have to get rid of them. Quit supporting by buying them. If you don't want everything to become a subscription service, you have to cut out all subscriptions and get rid of them. Get rid of the ones you don't like. For instance, if you like Spotify, you can keep it and that's fine, but you can't be wanting CDs to come back if you're supporting Spotify like that because you're paying to defeat yourself. So you have to make a stand, a hard stand on that type of thing. When it comes to games, same thing applies. If you don't like Game Pass or you don't like PlayStation Plus and paying for online, quit paying for online. Play on PC if you can't afford it. If not, just play offline. If everyone just collectively said, we're not gonna play online no more, everyone would just, it would all just be dropped. Online services would just be dropped in general and they'd become free again. Like the PS3 had it where you could play online for free. And because Sony thought they could get away with it, they made PS Plus and made it where you had to pay for it. But for a while there, you could just play on PS3 completely free, no cost to you. They thought they could get away with it and they were right. So now they make extra money from that service when they don't really do that much that really would need that much money from them. Because the game itself is also paying for that service, but apparently not. If you don't like subscription services for games, you have to quit playing Game Pass. You have to quit having this mentality of, when it comes to Game Pass, I'll play it. You need to spend the money on the game in itself to make sure the developers get the money they needed from it. You need to actually do that. You know, when it comes to buying used things, when you buy used things, you don't actually support the developer or the creator. You're just supporting the one person who sold it to you. When it comes to GameStop, it's better to buy new than used because when it's new, the developer actually gets the, the money from it. And if you don't want games to continue to be subscription services, you have to stop. If you don't like games that are live service, quit playing live service games. If you won't name any game, if you won't Call of Duty or Fortnite or whatever you want it to be, if you want a game to die, you have to quit playing it. You gotta quit talking about it. You can't talk about it constantly. You can't play it. If you want something to go away, you have to basically remove it in itself from your life. And this applies with everything in life. But I'm just saying in this video, we're just talking about voting with your wallet. But this is something you have to do. If you like the idea of Xbox coming to PlayStation 
because that's what they're doing. They're adding uh, Xbox games to PlayStation. Buy them. Buy all of them. Because when you buy them, you're telling Microsoft you can make money here. And if they actually realize that they can make money there, they're going to keep doing it. If you like PlayStation games on PC, buy them. Buy them on PC. Because you're telling Sony you can make money here, and they're going to go where the money's at. Your money is so precious and valuable to these companies. They want. They will do anything in their power to get your money. And it's up to you as the customer to protect your money and know when the product is worth buying because games are not games they're products it's some these companies exist to make products and the products are making their games so star wars battlefront the collection the only reason it came back is because they wanted to make a product what people are going to buy and because people want to buy it we might have a chance of making a battlefront 3. it all comes down to voting with your money if you want a nintendo switch 2 to be a success you have to buy it if you like what nintendo does now you have to buy it if you think their online service is bad don't buy it. You know, it's that simple. If you like Apple computers or Apple phones, buy them. It's okay, buy them. And if you love Windows, buy Windows. But if Windows makes a bad OS or makes stupid products, don't buy them. If you like Android or Pixel or Samsung, you have to buy those products. You have to go buy them. Not every single one of them, of course. I am talking within reason. I mean, this is just hobby stuff. But you need to make sure you show up and you add your support. If you hate Facebook, then why are you using Instagram? If you hate Facebook, why are you using Instagram Reels or using their Twitter app thingy they made? Don't use it. If you hate Facebook and you think they're stealing your data and you think they're an evil company, don't be buying a MetaQuest. Don't be using Facebook. If you want Facebook to go bankrupt, is as a collective, we would just say, we do not want them, they would go bankrupt. And this is what you have to do. It is the only way that Facebook would ever vanish as a company is when we all say no, because not only is money important, your time is important. Games want to waste your time. Your phone and the apps on it want to waste your time. Time is one of the most precious things in this life, and it's up to you to control it and protect it. And companies want your money and your time. They can make money doing both. So it is important that you save your time you know if these apps are too distracting or they're too much for you get rid of them if you want them to be gone get rid of them if you hate tiktok because it's a platform that has a lot of evil things on it it's distracting you don't like their business practices and some of the things they've done and some of the data breaches that have happened if you want that spyware to be gone quit using it don't use it at all. Don't even talk about it. Get rid of it. Same with YouTube and Google. If you don't like these companies, you have to stop showing support for it. And likewise, the opposite. If you like a company, you have to use their product or pay for things. Show that you want things to come back from them. You know, Disney now. Disney now. People are finally starting to show support of not liking Disney. A lot of people are not liking Disney right now because of the decisions they have made. And so what they're doing is they're stopping their support for Disney. They either cancel the subscription services, quit watching their shows, quit buying the merch. Same with Star Wars, like what they did with the Star Wars. And that's what I think they're doing somewhat with Marvel. And it's something that's just going to have to happen. If you want change, you have to beat the change. Like when it comes to Disney, they said they didn't want physical media and they want to be gone with it. And then people raged out enough, they finally started to release some of their Star Wars TV shows and their Marvel TV shows onto 4K Blu-ray. They bent the knee after saying, no, we're not gonna do that. Customers said, we wanted it enough. And so Disney had to change the way they are. So if you like things from entertainment or you hate things, you have to show support either with your money or not. You have to be the change. You have to be the change. When it comes to foods, drinks, anything like this, if you don't like fast food, don't eat fast food. Don't support fast food. Don't even get drinks from fast food. If you hate soda, don't ever drink it again. Don't ever show support. Quit supporting those companies. If you want, you know, the world to be healthier, quit eating McDonald's. Never eat McDonald's again. And then have other people, you know, try to get them to quit too. You can bankrupt McDonald's. You can bankrupt any company. A company can only exist as long as they make money. The minute they quit making money, the minute that company dies. So if you want things to change, you have to attack them where money's at. And so every day you can shape this world to be whatever you want it to be. Not everyone's going to be a president. Not everyone's going to be a political member. And not everything has to be so stinking important. Video games are a pastime hobby. They're not important and never will be. But if you want to change them, 
you can. You don't have to be a game developer or a president of a company to change the way gaming is for the future. All you have to do is just either give them your money or don't. If you hate free to play games, don't play them. If you hate games that are changing the industry for the worst, don't play them. Don't buy them. And if you like a game, spend your money. Spend it. Of course, it's a hobby, so make sure you know everything's taken care of before you spend money on a game. I think that's kind of obvious. Same with technology. You can be the change. Bring something back from the dead because you want it. Star Wars Battlefront came back because people said we want it and we're willing to pay for it. That is the only reason it came back. If everyone was silent, they would have never brought it back. But because people spoke up, they did. This is where the future is. The future is in your hands whether you realize it or not. Hopefully you wake up one day to realize it is in your hands and you do have the power to change things. But if you never realize this, companies will make what they want to make and you will have no opinion. If you play a game and you don't like how it was political, or you think it wasn't political enough, it is up to you to change and curb it depending on how you want to buy it. What I'm trying to say as a collective, we have the power to control the world. We only realized we had it. If we believe we don't have it, and we continue to live a life thinking corporations or whoever controls it, then we realize we have failed and we're actually being controlled. But if we realize that our tiny decisions multiply them by how many people are in the world, that we collectively make the decisions, the world can be a better place, but it just comes down to you making a little choice to buy or not to buy. But yeah, that's all I had.